Now that we have the arc addition postulate, which does tell us that in a circle with two adjacent arcs, let's say this is 30 degrees and this is 40 degrees, then we know that arc AC, which equals arc AB plus arc BC, is going to equal 30 plus 40, which will be 70 degrees. All right, this brings us to example two. In example two, you're given the diagram on the right. I want you to identify the given arc as a major arc, a minor arc, or a semicircle. Then, find the measure of the arc. Whoa. Try this on your own first, and resume the video when you're ready to check your solutions. Let's look at arc EB first. That's the shortest distance from E to B, and that's going to be 115 degrees. Now we can look at arc BDE that goes from B to E passing through D. Okay, to see that, let's see. We have 84, 115, 62. I know that my circle should sum to 360. So I do 84 plus 115 plus 115 plus 62, which is going to give me, let's see, looks like we get 261. The difference between that and 360 is 99 degrees. That means this angle here, angle CAD, is 99 degrees. So arc BDE will be 62 degrees plus 99 degrees plus 84 degrees. I get 245 degrees. We could have also seen it's going to be 360 minus 115, which would also give me 245 degrees. All right, let's look now at arc EBD. Arc EBD goes from point E to point D, passing through B. This is going to be 115 plus 62. So I get 177 degrees. Let's look at arc BC. Arc BC is going to be the shorter distance from B to C, which will be 62 degrees plus 99 degrees. And adding those together, I get 161 degrees. Let's look at arc EC. EC is the shortest distance from E to C, and that's going to be a straightforward 84 degrees. And then DCE is going from D to E passing through C, which gives me 99 plus 84, it's going to be 183 degrees. Last part of this problem, I need to tell whether these arcs are a major arc, minor arc, or a semicircle. I just go through anything that's less than 180 degrees is a minor arc. Anything that's equal to 180 would be a semicircle, but we don't have any of those in this example. And anything that's greater than 180 degrees is a major arc. And that completes example two.